It's a good match. A park founded by a man who wanted to give children a place to learn about nature. Right, it uses that to suck up all the water. And a camping trip funded by a couple's foundation that gives an outdoor experience to city youth that might not otherwise get out. You turn it upside down and all that's going to come right out onto your hand. The Jarrett Mika Foundation held its camp out in Lewis A. Stelzer County Park recently. And the children getting their first camping experience also got to help the park in a very direct way. So they're helping us plant some little baby oak trees because uh, we're losing a lot of oak trees from gold-spotted oak borer. So these little D-shaped holes are where those gold-spotted oak borers come out. Yeah, but we don't Up the road in Julian's William Heisey right? County we Park, can... over 2,800 large oak trees have been killed by the borer, and more continue to die. Luckily, here at Stelter, the situation isn't as bad, but still, tagged trees indicate active infestations. The kids, after learning about the problem, find out what it's like to be a steward of their backcountry. We love having the kids do it, uh, especially because it's like a really tangible way for them to help out. A lot of it is like breaking down fears. You know, lots of these kids are like afraid of the dark and have never been out, you know, a night in nature before. So this is huge for them. I mean, they get to, you know, go for a hike and lots of them have never been like on a nature hike before, which is crazy. I can't even imagine that. You go like that. And it's safe to assume that many have never planted an oak tree, so there were a few tips before the planting began. So you can kind of just step on it, and you dig down, and you can get a hole. Step two, so we're going to pop this guy out of here really carefully and put it in that hole. The rangers had set out flags to guide the day's groups to planting locations, and it didn't take long for the kids to become attached to a tree that may provide shade to their families in the future. We called right. it the dream tree. The dream tree, I like it. All right, so remember the third step, right? You gotta build up Water. this swell. You don't just learn the name of a plant, but you learn why it's interesting, and because if we can spark that interest and kind of light that fire, then, you know, it helps the whole conservation effort. And it helps the kids, too. You know, just having a connection with nature. It's good for them, it's good for us. Come back in 100 years, and it'll be about as big as the one you guys slept under. In the County News Center, I'm Dominic Fulgoni. we water it?